As I travel around visiting smart board users, one of the questions I'm most frequently asked is, how and where do I save the pages I've created? How do I save the images I get off the internet? How do I save the resources that I've managed to gather? The simple answer to that is to use the My Content section of the Galleries tab. Now the My Content section of the Galleries tab will separate your resources into four areas here. It'll separate them into pictures, interactive and multimedia, files and pages and themes, and it will do that automatically as you place them in. The My Content on this computer is set up under curricular areas, but you're entirely free to set that up as you wish on your own hard drive. So I've got curricular areas here, but not just that. I've got folders within folders within folders that allow me to set it up exactly as I wish. How do I create a folder? Well, I don't have a science folder and I want it to be in my general My Content. So what I'm going to do is from the My Content here, select the drop down menu and new folder. Having got that up, I can then take the keyboard and type in the name that I want the folder to have. So it's as simple as that, I've added the folder. How now do I get items into those folders? Here are some items that I've gathered from the internet and various other sources. I have a video and we also have a picture and here we have a picture which is connected to a sound file. So I want to keep these and I want to save them and use them again another day. What I have to do first of all is identify which folder I'm going to put them in. So the, the video there is a science resource. So there's my science folder, make sure I can see it. And drag the video over the folder and when I let it go, it'll be dropped in there and it'll be recognized as a multimedia item. I'll do that again, once again, this time with an image. So I'm dragging it over into the science folder again, let it go, but this time it's recognised that it's a picture and saved it that way. Let's take the sound enabled image here as well. It's a history resource. So I take it again, over the top of the folder I want it to go into, and simply let it go, and then it drops. Once again being recognised as a multimedia item. What if I have resources on my desktop? So I have a folder here with a variety of pictures and if I want to take one of those pictures and put it into my content, well all I have to do is simply drag the image over the folder I want it to go to and once again drop it straight in. Where else might I want to gather images from, resources from? The internet of course. Let's open up an internet page here and when we have the image that we want in view we identify the folder we want it to go to, in this case I think history, and simply drag it straight from the internet into the folder I want it to go to and you see that it's gone in there for me. Supposing now I want to save the full page, how do I go about doing that? First of all, once again, you have to identify the folder you're going to put it in. So, use miscellaneous again this time. Identify the folder, and this time using the tool icon up here beside the search, I can select from this drop down menu. So I want to save this page. I can, if I want, save the whole file, but this time I'm just going to save the page. Click there, and we see that it's added into my miscellaneous folder. The other thing I might want to do, if I'm feeling generous, is to share my resources with somebody else. So if I want to take my history folder and give it to somebody else to use, I simply select it there and from the drop down menu now, I can select export as a collection file. Having clicked on there, we get the familiar window up so I can name the folder and I can identify where I'm going to save it. Probably the best place to put it straight onto a memory stick and then save it as you normally would. Having put it straight onto a memory stick, you can then take it over to any machine that has notebook installed, double click on the file, and it will automatically install that content into the My Content section on that computer. So as we can see, 
The My Content section of Notebook software is both very easy to use and very, very useful. Thank you.